And that was Charmin Toilet Paper Super Bowl commercial, Hut Hut Wipe. Uh, now, my question for the focus group is, would the commercial you just saw make you want to go with Charmin? I just got to say, that commercial was incredible. I am blown away. OK, well, we're happy to hear that. So like, how'd you get them to do that? Uh, who? Why, the bears, of course. Are they like actors or a real family? Uh, well, the bears aren't real. They're animated. Ah, animated, because they're animals. <laughs> Makes sense to me. <laughs> Anyone else have any thoughts? Uh, yeah, I thought the commercial was actually pretty good, but what about something like this? Uh, Bear wakes up after a night of raging, right? And that uh, bathroom's completely destroyed, like Chernobyl. And Bear's like, if that's what's on the walls, what's the deal with my ass? So he checks it. He's totally clean. The charm has done its job. Charming. Okay, wow. Very. Just very. OK, but um, we aren't looking for new commercial pitches. Just your thoughts on the commercial you just saw. So yes, you, sir. Uh, uh, bravo. But um, <laughs> perhaps one of the bears is an educated type. Uh, Leather-bound books, such as and so forth. Um, ladies' panties steam for him. Huh. Uh, well, we will think about that. Uh, yes, you, ma'am. Yeah, couldn't help but notice the bears are a family of whites. Oh, the, the bears aren't white. They have no race. They're bears. Um, I know they're white because I'm white, and it is my greatest shame. So chew on this. If I had it my way, I would have been born a wise old Asian man. Uh, OK, well, how about checking this? Uh, girl bear and boy bear are on a date, and things are getting kind of flirty underneath the table, you know what I'm saying? And girl bear says, Meet me in the bathroom in five minutes. And she walks in there, but the bean burrito that she just housed starts destroying her butt wise, right? Now, five minutes later, Boy Bear walks in there, starts rocking her world, but he's got no idea that his lady just deuced it because the booty is clean. Charming. One million years. You're like, that's kind of naughty. And also, how would you even get the bears to do that, I was thinking. OK, OK. This is an image from the commercial. So why don't you tell me what wor one word comes to mind? One word. Um, privilege, white, <laughs> generational wealth, um, Cape Cod. Again, one word, just one word. Tidy. OK, tidy. That's actually very good. Tidy deuce. <laughs> Came out clean like an angel. She doesn't even need to wipe, but she still does, because it's a victory lap. Charming. OK, that's not helpful. Well, I don't know, honey. It's you guys' bears. Um, um, perhaps one of the bears is a captain in the new world, and he meets a young native woman. And he teaches her the gentle tongue. And in return, she does the forbidden dance of her people. Ooh, la, 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 la. Ooh, la, 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 la. All right, OK, OK, no, my turn. Right, bear sits down on a public toilet, right? And the automatic uh, flush goes off while he's still got his ass on a seat, right? Bear gets sucked down into this underworld full of pee-pee and poo-poo creatures, hideous things. And he's got to fight his way back up into the surface because it's his wedding day, right? Bear finally makes it back to the surface, runs to the altar, gets to his wife. But check this. She's one of them, a doo-doo creature. Sick body, though. They kiss. Charming. Amazing. Incredible, man. Great job, dude. And that to be the commercial. OK, OK. I'm going to go ahead and cut this short, because it's been bad and unhelpful. All right, so when do we get our free charming? Because I needed it like yesterday. 